Alright, this is what kind of bird is this? Okay, jump. Ah, that's a cool bird. Now what what kind of bird is it? Sea eagle. Sea oh this is a sea eagle? Yes. Oh there we go. This is how you do it guys. Just so you know, here uh, these are very rare birds, right? Super birds. Um, they will also peck your eyes out if you uh, try to attack it. So um, there you go. We got the picture of a lifetime, right? Cool, thank you, sir. Very, very nice. Okay, okay, the best. Ah, that's crazy. Thank you. There you have it. Uh, birds are, they will get crazy. And I just lost my entire group. All right, back. Um, let's keep going there. So that was a weird bird. That, those are the kind of birds that you want to eat um, at certain times of the year. Um, if you like to eat birds, that was a particular bird that I was going to eat, but he said I could not eat it. It's okay. Look at you standing next to me, strong hands holding on to me, and look at you, and I'm home. Here we go on our next journey, I never thought our love could be. A little scared. I know she's scared at the bird. Are you, are you scared, Bob? No. Yeah, you are. You should kiss it. Kiss it on its beak. <laughs> I think I'm done. Is it pooping on your face? <laughs> So these kind of birds that you can uh, eat on the streets, they are uh, 200 baka for anyone that is interested of eating them. I think I'm gonna smoke and uh, drink some alcohol while I'm here. Oh. Man, that's a big sign. scared if I'll knock something over. I hope I don't. But that's kind of cool. This thing right here. That's interesting. So let's look around. So the story on all these elephants is that they were all real at one point and then they frozen um, over the king's spell. Um, see? Look at these elephants. Frozen in time. One point in time, they were all alive and well. Um, a lot of mini elephants, as you can see. Gold elephants. So after they froze them into stone, these real elephants, um, they paint them for fun. You know, Here, here's a fun. Here's a fun shot. Elephant butt, right? 
I'm wondering well, how much these cost, right? Ivory. It's good money here in uh, Thailand. Um, but more, what's worth more money is the actual trunk of the elephant. Now, the reason why the trunk is worth more than the ivory, the tusk, is because these trunk of the elephant make really nice pants. But one pair of pants, you need two trunks, so it's really expensive. And you gotta kill two elephants. And then obviously you waste the meat and let it rot in the woods. But that's an interesting fact here in Thailand. All right, so here in Thailand, they have kings. And it's the king of Thailand. So um, you wanna know who's in charge is this guy. Um, kinda looks like from, Kind of looks like from the 1920s, if you ask me. But uh, that's the king of Thailand, and he will rule you until you die. And uh, I'm sure there's tons of freedom here in uh, Thailand. Now, I know you guys are excited to see the Buddhas, the elephants, and the beaches, but now we've found the world's largest Buddha. That's right, guys. He is ginormous. Let me see if I can carry him on my hand, huh? Uh, like that. Ah, but there you go. We're gonna go get a little closer look for you guys in a little bit. Too many people now are living day to day. Content with the menial as long as it pays Somewhere along the road we lost our reason why We just care about the how much and when we're gonna die And that's what I can't grasp All the thoughts we leave behind are invincible to time Your flesh won't last Become who you want today before it all fades away It's just like the pyramids. They haul these humongous stones that weigh over 5,000 tons each. One stone, one brick at a time. So pretty amazing, right? And it costs about $45 trillion to build. So whoever's worshiping this god, it could be you, right? <laughs> so every morning at like 9 a.m. they have to ring the bell. Not a bell, but a big dong, right? One of these things. They gotta ring it at least three times. And then the big Buddha will wake up and uh, bless you, whatever you need. And uh, that's what it's all about. So let's go check out more about certain things that are going on at this place. So this is, uh, I don't know where we are, but does it matter? Because you don't have to come to Thailand now because I'm doing it for you. Um, here's a tree of uh, tree of something, right? I think they're like let's read at some of them. Now that one so looks like gibberish. Um, any English? No, no English. English? No. All it's all scribble, scribble. Anyways, I think. Oh, here's one. Wish my family healthy and happy. That's a that's a good one. Um, here's another Buddha that they built. A lot of people uh, look like they're praying to these things. Here's a guy. Now this guy, he fought in the uh, Thailand war. And he was a general and uh, he died pretty quickly because he, he, they had, we had guns, they had swords. So it's a worthless fight, right? Here's another general. This is, uh, this is Robert E. Lee. I guess he was a, a, a general here in Thailand and in the Southern War in, in America, but uh, or the Civil War. But uh, yeah, he's here too, J J Robert Lee something. Uh, let's see, let's, oh, the three-headed elephants. This is a classic in Thailand. Three elephants, each mean peace, 
harmony and love. If you, if, if obviously if you knew that, you would know that if you were from Thailand. So that's uh, interesting about the three elephants. Those are their gods. Um, they worship them, um, just as you would worship any of one of your gods that you guys worship at home. You know, they bless them as same way. Let's go uh, inside. All right, so we're inside underneath the Buddha. Um, it's very delicate down here because uh, it could come crumbling down at any moment because um, it's under construction. So let's go check out um, some statues. Here's a, here's a good one. That's a good one. I guess we can't go over here. So I was telling you guys earlier before, um, here's the golden Buddha. This is where everyone loves. This one is, uh, you worship this one like any other god. Uh, maybe he'll bless you with, uh, you know, gold or rubles or or whatever you want in life. This is, uh, this is the one to go for because, uh, hey, it's made out of gold, right? It'll give you gold, right? This guy is so friendly here. Where is it? You have a high five? Yeah. High five. No high five, man? Where are you? There you are. Here we go. Ah. You guys need to relax. You guys like those? No? I'll take it back. Yeah, maybe. These guys are kind of really hungry today, aren't they? Hey, what's that? There we go. There we go. Hey, be careful. Oh, oh, I got one. There he is. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Hi, like sweetie. that one, buddy? Thanks, man. All right, so this is my buddy. What's your name, buddy? Richard. You like those? They're cute. They gave him some more. You gave him plenty. Yeah, you gave him poisons. He's gonna fall over. Yeah. Oh, babe, don't touch me. Everyone just attacked me. Hey, you wanna take this? No. <laughs> okay. You see your face in there? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I, got new, I got a new body. He's my friend. Take half. Take half. There you go. What's your name, buddy? There we go. This is, these are the nice monkeys here in Thailand, guys. 
Is that you? That's oh. I think he scared himself. One more. I got a couple more left. See, there he is. He like, they like these peanut butter things. That's it, Thailand. All right, looks like the tour is over here, guys. Uh, check it out, or don't have to check it out because I just showed you everything here in Thailand. So you don't have to come. Um, so there was monkeys, there's Buddhas, there's, uh, there's beaches, uh, the water's fine. But right now we're leaving the big Buddha place. And um, the Buddha's under construction, so it's gonna take a while. It's just like the big pyramids, you know? It took thousands of years to build. This is gonna take thousand years to be built as well. Uh, because I believe they're not using any uh, 20th century tools here. I noticed that, I did notice that. So that concludes our trip again. I, I always keep concluding our trips. Um, we are out of here. We are on a schedule. So when you're when you do these tours, you got it. You only, you only can be here for an hour. And then another thing on the tours, they, they, you're in a van, and um, makes you a little nauseous because you're going through all these curves and ups and downs, and and it's uh, you know if you got a weak stomach, it's not so fun. But. Uh, we are leaving once in a lifetime. Maybe the next time I come here, it'll be finished. And you guys, when you see it all finished, you don't have to come here at all. Because I brought it to you first. Let's see here. China. This is how you clean your fingernails here in Thailand. <laughs> All of them. Ah, it hurts so bad. Is there more in there? If you have any Thai fans, it hurts yeah, so yeah. bad. Don't do this in Thailand because I've already done it for you. Just walking through this market here. Uh, this is we're, we're on we're heading out of the Buddha place. Um, these are people that worship Buddhism. Steve Jobs, um, Einstein. These people all were into Buddhism, and um, what's that? And what's the symbol of the Buddha? Yep. What is the symbol of it? Uh, is it the god? Is this the god? They are, I didn't come to you first. The, you mean for the Buddha statue? Or? Yeah, what is the symbol? What does it mean it's for the people? It's like still calm, still quiet, still keep it our meditation. Okay. That is mean for the Buddha image where I will inform to us again at the temple site. But that is important for the Thai people. Got it. Mm -hmm. So but so is, is it a god? Still calm. Is it calm. A god? Calm. Yeah. calm. Yeah. Quietly. Oh. John, you are here. You are in wrong way. There you no, have it guys. Not this you. Is for interesting.
interesting um, it's just a temple you go in there you gotta take your shoes off you gotta have your sunglasses off um, you gotta have your hat off if you're wearing a hat and uh, and then you worship the Buddha again there was three of them and uh, it was pretty interesting Would I worship the Buddha I don't, I don't know would you guys would you guys do it <laughs> I like that blah blah, blah. A lot of firecrackers. A lot of firecrackers going on here. Um, maybe it's the Fourth uh, of July every day, right? So there's a Buddha in here, or a monk. He's very still. Look at that guy. He's pretty still. He's been meditating there for 99 years. Crazy. All right, so we are um, sitting here. He's staring. I don't know what he's doing, but um, I don't know. You just go in these three temples. We're at the main temple. No, this is one of the side temples. I'm going to go to the main one in a little bit. But it's different. I don't know. I'll make it up. This is where you worship this guy. All right, so we are at the Double Dragon Temple. Um, let's go inside and check it out. I don't know if there's really much to it, but we're gonna go check it out. And I will show you what's in the double-headed dragon. Uh-oh, fight fire You gotta take your shoes off before you go into these temples. So, in this temple here, um, it looks like you worship this guy. <laughs> no, this is, uh, this is interesting, right? This guy, he's got a little doobie in his mouth, he's smoking a little weaver. And this guy, he's, uh, he guards the building, and uh, this guy is the guy you worship. So that is uh, the smaller of the temples of all of them, guys. We're off to the big one. All right, going to the big temple. This is the bigger one. Check this out, guys. Huh? It's pretty big. So would um, I have to say that this one will be hopefully interesting for you guys to see. So let's go and uh, let's tell them what's up. Weber's, Weber's Way Styles here. Let's show you how it's done. Oh, 
wouldn't go upstairs. Let's go. Let's go upstairs, guys. Now we're in the main temple here. Hey, look at this craftsmanship here. It's, um, actually, I could do a better job. They're not. They're not painting it very well. The painting's just falling right off. So, but you got to think about it. It's been here for millions of years. This temple, they say. A lot of marble, but they're painting on marble. Paint, when you paint on marble, it doesn't stay. Oh, well, we're in the second part here. More, uh, more Buddhas. I think they're staring at me. It's getting hot. BC is when the building was built. And after that, they built several other buildings on top of this one. People think I know all these buildings. I don't know anything about these buildings. Just kidding. So, so in 200 BC, they started saying, hey, we need to build more levels on the buildings. So they did. So they did a three story. Here's the top floor, guys. Remember, you don't have to come here now because I'm showing you. It's got to be quiet. <laughs> the top of the building. Very strange. Now, I know some of these people are not Buddhism. And uh, I think if you believe in another god, he would be mad at you if you're worshiping this god. That's how I would think. If, um, you know, worshiping several gods. But here we are. We're on the top floor of the temple. This is a cool shot, right? That's pretty cool, right? Let's get back around. Oh, there's those firecrackers again. They love their firecrackers here because they love the 4th of July. Because 4th of July, you always have fireworks. You know, you know the rest, Americans. But uh, here they celebrate every 10 minutes, it seems like. And uh, it's good to hear those firecrackers because those firecrackers always remind you of home in the sense of, you know, the bank. So a lot of this gold that you see here, it's not real gold, there's no, it's not 24K, and a lot of people think it's 24K, but it's not. It's actually a doll down gold, which was, uh, it was implied thousands of years ago it was from a sand, a sand base that turned gold, so they use this kind of material a lot. But it's not 24K. I know. Well, uh, people uh, just want to get their pictures. This is the Seven Dragon Buddha. He is uh, very mean. <laughs> but, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, your picture. So we're just gonna try to sneak in here. I'm trying to get a sneak shot there. So, you guys, this Buddha represents all of uh, of this temple. So worshiping this Buddha bless you many times. Alright, we gotta get out of here. So, anyways, back to we're going we're gonna go back down to the next floor. 
trying to figure out how to get out of here. It's exhausting. I'm out, I'm out of breath. So the floors were done in, the, the floors done here, they're all marble. They were done in 500 BC. For several years, several hundred years, the floors here were all wood. And um, years later, they put marble uh, because they finally got some money. <laughs> that's how, that's what I think they do, you know? Actually, a Thai, a Thai artist, let me tell you about this guy. The Thai artist, uh, Ching Chang Pearl, he designed this and it stuck with the, uh, the whole city of Thailand. So there are a lot of those, a lot of those dragons that you see, he's the one that made them. Um, they love these flowers. Love them. So here is the this Buddha particular. This was another uh, artist. He designed these um, BC, early BC, uh, 100 BC. He uh, he made this one seven dragon Buddha. This is uh, has seven different evils in it. If you take one of the evils. It will cure you from any disease that you have. So, worshiping that is a good luck, but sometimes not. <laughs> oh, so we're exiting the temple now. And that was the big temple, as you guys all know, that, uh, that guy looked really mad. No, just, he's not mad. He's probably happy. A lot of shoes here. So, if you, don't, if you wear a common shoe, you're going to get lost. But obviously, I don't wear common shoes. Um, but this would be a good place if you didn't have shoes. You could find a pair right here, slip them on, and on your way. The person that will be looking for him is not going to be chasing you because he needs his shoes to run after you. All right. It's very possible that this is over. All right, so we're in a cashew factory. And they have cashews of all different flavors. And they have dry fruits that you guys all might like. So, but they let you try anything before you buy it. So there's samples everywhere. We're gonna try some uh, pineapple. I wanna try some pineapple. Here we are. This is what they come in, guys. So you can try it before you buy it. Sweet. Let's see if I like that as well. Pineapple is okay. Is there sugar in these? You guys put sugar in them? Yeah, this has sugar. This is the natural. That's natural. Where's the sugar mango? This is sugar mango? Yeah. Alright, sugar mango, guys. I didn't really get a good flavor. I think the sugar sugar is way better. Let's try the nat let's try the plain one. Thank you. This is the plain mango dried. Uh, right here. 170. Sugar is better. But you can taste the flavor of the mango. Without the sugar. Okay, I like this one because this one they add some salt and sugar in to mix it when this one is natural. Alright, so uh, I want to try peaches because uh, I like peaches. That's your stuff. That was good. Alright, kiwi. Let's try the kiwi. All right, that's another disgusting one. Um, pineapple. Pineapple with a little sugar. I just eat meat with it. It's so good. Pretty good. Okay. Orange. Look at that. I don't know what that was. It tastes like an orange peel. 
Don't get the orange. Definitely get mango or pineapple. Alright, so we're, I mean, this is a cashew factory, so I figure maybe we should try some cashews. And I'll let you know which ones are best, which ones to get. Um, here, the cashews are all different flavors chocolate, garlic, you name it. They got it here. What I don't see is cashew milk, which originated in the United States. All right, here is cashew chocolate. Not too bad. Not too bad. I like the cashew chocolate, but who cares, right? Salted cashews, those are uh, probably the most common ones. Yeah. But I wonder if they sell milk. Cashew milk. What are these? The Sherpa. No, let's see. The great taste. Let's try these. Let's see what this is. That's just what it says. Not for me. They have sour cream, which I won't try because that's disgusting. And they have barbecue, regular, all the flavors you guys would love. It's a cashew factory. But you know what they don't have at the cashew factory? Is cashew milk. Which maybe I should tell them because they can make a lot of money making cashew milk. All right, so the lady that makes the cuts the cashews out of the apple, they call it. She's the only one that does it. And uh, she does like probably a million cashews a day. And she does it one by one. One by one. One, one at a time, the foot thing. See that? Crunches down, cashew, makes the cashew come out of the nut. But I really want to try these barbecue. Barbecue. Oh, barbecue is the best. You like barbecue? That's the one to get. We are at the cashew factory in Thailand. Um, you don't have to check it out or buy any because I bought them all. I tasted them all. I told you which ones are the best. So now you don't have to. All right? All right. My father's voice, he would tell me to move on. He would say, I'll be just fine. Yeah, he would tell me we have time time to laugh and time to heal. A favorite song is on repeat, drinking wine until the dawn. Smile.